वेलकम टू फिजियोलॉजी क्यू सॉल्ट फिजियोलॉजी क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ आर जी एच एस फॉर फर्स्ट एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू पेपर वन आंसर्स आर ब्रीफ एंड टू द पॉइंट द रेफरेंसेस आर टेकन फ्रॉम गेनॉम ट्वेंटी सिक्स एडिशन जी के पॉल फॉर डिटेल्ड आंसर्स रेफर टेक्स्ट बुक क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन वॉट इज को ट्रांसपोर्ट गिव टू एग्जाम्पल्स द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज टेकन फ्रॉम जी के पॉल पेज सिक्सटी टू सिम्पोर्ट और को ट्रांसपोर्ट मीन्स दैट ए मॉलिक्यूल इज अलाउड टू बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड फ्रॉम हाइयर टू लोअर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन रीजन वाइल मूविंग अनदर मॉलिक्यूल विथ इट फ्रॉम लो टू हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एग्जाम्पल्स सोडियम ग्लूकोज को ट्रांसपोर्ट मैकेनिज्म that has an important role in transferring glucose across the epithelial cells of renal proximal tubules and of the intestine in particular the small intestine sodium phosphate co-transporter they are also found across the epithelial cells of renal proximal tubule and of the small intestine in this figure potassium and sodium move in opposite direction this is called antipod sodium and glucose move in same direction this is called sympod question number 12 name three interleukins with their functions the answer to this question is taken from gk pal page number 180 interleukin 1 the main source of interleukin 1 are macrophages The main actions of interleukin one are fever, T cell activation, macrophage activation. Interleukin two, the main source of interleukin two are T helper T one cells. The main actions of interleukin two is T cell growth, B cell growth, natural killer cell growth. Interleukin four, the main source of interleukin four are T helper two cells. The main actions of interleukin four. are activation and growth of b cells induces differentiation of cd4 t cells into t helper 2 cells question number 13 what is thrombocytopenia list its effects the answer to this question is taken from gk pal page number 190 a platelet count that falls below the lower limit of normal that is 150000 per microliter for adults is defined as thrombocytopenia spontaneous bleeding can occur with a platelet count under 20000 per microliter and surgical bleeding with counts below 50000 per microliter severe thrombocytopenia is associated with severe internal bleeding bleeding in the brain is fatal thrombocytopenia is associated with risk of thrombosis Question number fourteen: Define erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Give normal value and its significance. The answer to this question is taken from G. K. Paul, page number eighty-eight. Definition of ESR: The rate at which red cell fall or sediment is known as ESR. There are two methods: Winthrop's method and Western Gren methods. In Winthrop's method. 0 to 9 mm per hour in males and 0 to 20 mm per hour in females the esr value is more in females compared to males there are certain conditions in which there is increased in esr value these those conditions are severe anemia macrocytosis pregnancy increased plasma globulins increased plasma fibrinogen multiple myelomas and in certain conditions esr value is decreased in the case of sickle cell anemia microcytosis spherocytosis polycythemia increased plasma viscosity question number 15 what is pr intervals give its significance the answer to this question is taken from genom 26th edition page number 1187 the pr interval is the time from the beginning of the p wave atrial depolarization to the beginning of the qrs complex that is ventricular depolarization in this table 
we can see that the PR interval has a normal duration of average 0.18 seconds which ranges from 0.12 to 0.2 seconds and it signifies atrioventricular conduction. Question number 16 Significance of isovolumetric contraction during each cardiac cycle. The answer to this question is taken from GK Paul, page number 779. Isometric contraction is an event occurring in early systole during which the ventricles contract with no corresponding volume change. Isometrically, this short lasting portion of the cardiac cycle takes place while all heart valves are closed. While contraction causes ventricular pressures to rise sharply, there is no overall change in volume because of the closed valves. The isovolumetric contraction phase lasts about 0.3 seconds, but this short period of time is enough to build up a sufficiently high pressure that eventually overcomes that of the iota and the pulmonary artery upon opening of the semilunar valves. This process therefore helps maintain the correct unidirectional flow of blood through the heart and circulatory system. Question number 17 Wind Kessel effect and its significance. The answer to this question is taken from GK Paul, page number 732. Large elastic arteries store a portion of the stroke volume with each systole and discharge that volume with diastole. This phenomenon known as the Windkessel effect helps to decrease the load on the heart and to minimize the systolic flow and maximize diastolic flow in the arterioles. Windkessel in German means elastic reservoir. The walls of large arteries, example iota, common carotid, subclavian and pulmonary arteries and their large branches contain elastic fibers in their walls. The other blood vessels are resistance vessels, exchange vessels, capacitance vessels apart from Windkessel vessels. Question number 18. Write the cause and features of achalasia cardia. The answer to this question is taken from GK Paul, page number 402. Achalasia is a failure of organized esophageal peristalsis causing impaired relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter and resulting in foot stasis and often marked dilatation of the esophagus. Patients typically present with dysphagia for both solids and liquids. Dysphagia is more for solids than liquids. Chest pain, discomfort, eventual regurgitation are the other features patients of achalasia cardia may present with. Question number 19. Kinestoke breathing. The answer to this question is taken from Genong 26th edition, page number 1521. Kinestoke respiration is a type of breathing disorder characterized by cyclical episodes of apnea and hyperventilation. Although described in the early 19th century by John Kenney and William Stokes, this disorder has received considerable attention in the last decade due to its association with heart failure and stroke. Kinestoke respiration is a specific form of periodic breathing characterized by a crescendo-decrescendo pattern of respiration between central apneas or central hypopneas. In this figure, you can see there is cyclical pattern of hyperventilation followed by apnea, followed by hyperventilation and apnea. Question number 20, Asphyxia. The answer to this question is taken from Genong, 26th edition, page number 1521. In asphyxia, produced by occlusion of airway, acute hypercapnia and hypoxia develop together, resulting in stimulation of respiratory center causing violent respiratory efforts. Blood pressure, heart rate, catecholamine increases, whereas the blood pH drops. 
respiratory efforts cease bp falls and heart slows eventually asphyxiated animals can still be revived at this point by artificial respiration although they are prone to ventricular fibrillation because of hypoxic myocardial damage and high circulating catecholamine levels if artificial respiration is not started death occurs in 4 to 5 minutes by cardiac arrest